It's been quite some time since I've done a Game of Thrones video, which concluded in 2019. Can you believe it's been four years already? I'm currently preparing for an interview with Prop Store Auction discussing their current London Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction, which will remain open and stay active until early November. I wanted to share this exciting event with you because it features some remarkable items from the Game of Thrones series that I haven't previously encountered in auction listings. Now, my hypothesis is that HBO in light of their ongoing prequel series, has chosen to retain many of the iconic props and costumes from the show. This decision likely serves the purpose of cataloging and preserving these items in their archives with the potential for future exhibition tours. I'm not sure how these items came to be put up for auction. I hope to know more when I interview Prop Store later in the month. Now, if you're interested in bidding on any of these items, Pay attention to the date when the bidding is closed because it's different for each lot. I will add a link to the Game of Thrones auction items in the description below. Now, I don't make anything off of this. I'm a fan like many of you, and I just wanted to share. So even if you aren't interested in bidding on any of these auction items, Prop Store has taken some fabulous pictures and provided excellent descriptions to accompany the pictures. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of each item in order from the lowest starting bid to the highest. First, let's talk about this Dragonglass dagger. In the show, Dragonglass, also known as Obsidian, is a well-known material in Westeros. It's one of only two substances, the other being Valyrian steel that can kill White Walkers and Whites. Dragonglass weapons, likely crafted from material mined at Dragonstone, played a pivotal role in the White Hunt. This auction item, a Dragonglass dagger prop, starts at 750 pounds. Crafted from a single piece of soft silicone, it's meticulously painted black to mimic obsidian and showcases translucent edges when held up to the light. Starting at 750 pounds, we have a white mask, believed to be the creation of Game of Thrones chief makeup artist Pamela Smythe and art director Mark Lowry. While not confirmed, the Michael and X4, handwritten in blue pen on the interior, suggests that it might have been worn by British stuntman Michael Birch, who played the captured white in the season 7 episodes Beyond the Wall and the dragon and the wolf. This latex and silicone mask adorned with brown and green paint is affixed to a flexible green base and presented on a black biscuit foam mannequin head display engraved with CFX. With a starting bid of 1,000 pounds, we've got this Dothraki special effects oil dip Iraq. It's the go-to weapon for Dothraki warriors sporting a curved, crescent moon shaped blade around 2.5 feet long and a thick handle about the same length giving it a mix of a sword and a scythe. This piece is from season 8's The Long Night episode when Melisandre lit up the Dothraki's weapons before their big charge against the army of the dead in the Battle of Winterfell. The Iraq sword prop has a resin handle and an aluminum blade. Most of the blade is covered in a textured fabric, dipped in oil during filming, and set on fire for the fiery effect. Tell me in the comments which Game of Thrones auction item is your favorite. Up for auction with a 1000 opening bid is this stark round shield. Prominently featured in seasons 1 and 2, this shield was a staple among Stark men-at-arms at Winterfell, and in Robb Stark's Northern Army, and with Ned Stark's Bannerman at the Tower of Joy. Crafted from fiberglass, this circular shield is painted in a dark gray hue, bearing an embossed Stark family sigil, the direwolf's head, at its center. The backside is lined with black canvas featuring a rectangular padded strip and comfortable brown leather arm straps. Euron Greyjoy's special effects battle axe prominently featured in the assault on the Targaryen fleet during the season 7 episode Stormborn, has a starting bid of 1,500 pounds. 
During the battle, Euron rams into Black Wind and lands on the deck of Yara Greyjoy's ship. He wielded this axe, taking down several of Yara and Theon Greyjoy's crew. However, the beard-style axe gets stuck in one of the men's skulls and he can't pull it out. This special effects axe was custom made for that shot. Crafted from biscuit foam, it's painted to resemble metal and sports a kraken-shaped head, the emblem of House Greyjoy, with synthetic ruby eyes. A section is removed from the blade to fit over the head of the actor portraying Euron's victim. As a costume enthusiast and Game of Thrones fan, I was thrilled to come across Grey Worm's iconic Unsullied helmet, worn by Jacob Anderson in the show. This unique piece kicks off with a starting bid of 1,500 pounds. Grey Worm donned this helmet while leading the Unsullied into battle under the command of Daenerys Targaryen. In her book Game of Thrones The Costumes, series costume designer Michelle Clapton highlights George R. R. Martin's description of the Unsullied helmets, featuring spikes at the top. Clapton's design drew inspiration from Indian armor from the 16th to 18th centuries, incorporating face-obscuring plates to add an element of anonymity and menace to the warriors. This hero helmet for Grey Worm consists of a leather dome, a metal band, and plastic faceplate with cheek guards. It bears the handwritten labels Grey Worm and Jacob on the interior. The intentional distressing gives it a battle-worn appearance with additional scratches and a crack across the faceplate's bridge. Our final auction item, starting at 2,500 pounds, is the most thrilling of them all. Arya Stark's needle stunt sword an exceptional addition to any Game of Thrones fan's collection. The sword was designed and crafted by Tommy Dunn, just like all of the show's weapons. A through line during all eight seasons of Game of Thrones, Arya wielded this small sword, a gift from Jon Snow, specially made by Winterfell's blacksmith, Micken. Jon humorously advises her to stick them with the pointy end, and thus Arya aptly names it Needle, saying, Sansa can keep her sewing needles. I've got a needle of my own. This stunt sword, like many in the series, is constructed from hard rubber and boasts a silver painted blade. Its hilt features a textured leather-like grip in brown paint with a decorative gold painted cross guard and pommel. Anticipating an exciting auction, estimates suggest it could fetch between 5,000 to 10,000 pounds. Make sure you check out our upcoming interview with Prop Store. I will add it to the description as soon as it airs. As always, thank you for spending time with me. I'll see you in the next video.